Hi guys, this is a refrigeration system I've cobbled together using some old parts I had sitting around. A uh, really old condensing unit, um, and this old Tesla coil primary is the uh, evaporator. Uh, got the high pressure discharge coming out of the uh, condenser through a clear tube so you can see what's going on inside. The uh, expansion valve, just a uh, 3 8 inch uh, needle valve, and through the evaporator then back to the condensing unit. Uh, this condenser, condensing unit is quite interesting. It's really, really old. Uh, probably around 1960s or 70s. This compressor looks very big, but it's actually only quarter horsepower. A modern uh, compressor of the same size would be maybe two horsepower. And based on the sound uh, it makes when it's running, it probably has a four-pole motor in it, which means it runs at about 1700 RPM, which is uh, very slow for a, comp um, a refrigeration compressor. I've got a gauge set hooked up to it. Um, it's filled with refrigerant for a R152A from a uh, dusting gas uh, bottle. And let's give it a shot. Oh, need to plug it in first. There we go. There we go. Powering up. Refrigerant bubbling through that line. Check the pressures out. The high side runs at about 150 psi. The low side, something around 15 under normal operation. The low side's going a bit lower than normal, so I'm not sure why. Uh, now the coils are starting to freeze up. Fan to keep them cool, keep them warm. Sorry. Bit of creaking from the freezer getting cold. You can see the uh, refrigerant moving through the lines there. The wood, wood bubbles coming through it. That yeah, starting to get a bit warm. It's getting warm as well. The side pressure is coming up a little bit. It's a bit of a vacuum right now. I see pressure is coming up. It's starting to freeze up quite nicely there. Pressure is lower than it was last time I ran it. Maybe I should open the uh, valve a little bit, although it's perhaps it just needs to run for a few minutes to get operating properly. Compressor. It's rated 115 volts, 3.8 amps, 60 hertz, quick horsepower. Test pressure 300 psi. It's designed for our for R12. Seems to work okay for, with R152, although probably wouldn't be reliable in the long term. I don't think the oil is the right type. Uh, the start relay is in here. Um, so General Electric condensing units. Doesn't see much. One thing interesting is this was uh, appears to be almost new, or at least in its uh, original shipping container. It has these shipping wood pieces on it, and it came in a nice little cardboard tray that fitted perfectly. And I don't know why they would throw out a working condensing unit. It's starting to freeze up quite nicely. Turn that fan up to get more cooling. These lines are all empty. Ah, now the pressures are coming up. 
got 10 psi on the low side, 120 on the high side. Nice cool air coming over that, coming out of that. You see drips of water from when I'd run it before, it's working very well. Seeing the liquid. This is either solid liquid or solid gas. So it's solid liquid, pretty much, except for a little bubble you can see. You can see right there. Nice, slightly warmer air. I think that's pretty much in normal operation now. At some point, I'm probably going to take this down soon. I want, I'm quite interested in seeing how this uh, old compressor is built internally. I really don't have any use for this old condensing unit, so soon, sometime soon I'm going to cut this open and make a video of this. Make a video of that. That's pretty much stable now. One thing I noticed earlier when I had it running before is the uh, Insides, inside turns of this coil, the refrigerant comes this way and goes out. The, these inside turns were not uh, freezing up, but the outside ones were. Um, my theory is that the, uh, this tubing is too small and the high speed gas flow was causing a pressure drop, so the pressure on the outside was actually getting lower, so the temperature was lower on the outside than it was on the inside. But this was just a cobbled together system, so what do you expect? Anyway, thanks for watching. I don't know how well you can see this, but there's a pretty good view here of the uh, liquid coming out of the condenser. It's going over the top of the top of the hill up here and flowing down, and joining this little pool down here. It's sort of interesting to actually see the liquid refrigerant moving. Ah, that's really frozen up well now. If I bring the camera over here near the uh, compressor, you might be able to hear the uh, very low frequency sound it produced through because it pumps at such a low speed. Hopefully you'll be able to hear that.